how does one determine the value of a motorcycle claim in Idaho is a question that has um, sort of kind of convoluted answers. Um, and a lot of stuff that you kind of would look at and probably say legal gobbledygook. But the bottom line of it is the value of a claim, a personal injury claim involving a motorcycle accident under Idaho law, really boils down to predicting what a jury will do with it if the case went to trial. You are entitled to recover, we know, um, both economic and non-economic damages. The e type of economic damages you're um, able to pursue include your uh, medical expenses. That's, of course, all damages are for past and future. So all medical expenses you have incurred or all those that you will incur to a reasonable degree of probability in the future. You also entitled to recover as a form of economic damage if you have sustained a loss of wages or employment benefits or what's sometimes referred to as wage earning capacity, your ability to make a wage. Those fall into the category of economics and again that too is past and future. Um, and any other special expenses that are directly related to uh, the, the motorcycle crash. Um, so if you have to go um, travel pretty far to get some kind of treatment, um, then the costs associated with having to travel, those two would fall under the economic damages category. And so it takes an experienced lawyer to try to put all that together and to hire the right people and talk to the right people about maximizing whatever those economic damages are, to be realistic as to what they will be. The other type of damage you're entitled to pursue is the more unpredictable type. That is the non-economic damages. That is things you've probably heard referenced as pain and suffering, uh, emotional distress, loss of enjoyment of life. Um, basically, it's the, uh, the type of damages for which you cannot put a specific dollar value on, but of course represents probably the biggest part of your claim because uh, serious injuries have a serious impact on people's quality of lives and sometimes permanently so. And um, in order to pursue such a claim and to try to get what is a real reasonable value that equates with the gravity of the harm done, you need to have a lawyer on your side who has the experience of actually having pursued such claims successfully to the very end, like at a jury trial. There are people out there, lawyers, that'll tell you they have the experience of handling such claims when really they haven't been in trial much at all. Um, and it really be is a requirement to have somebody who has that experience in your camp because the other side certainly has experienced counsel in their camp. And if you have such a claim and you can sit down with the lawyers and talk more about this subject of what is the value of the claim, the non-economic damages component of this is very unpredictable. It's just a matter of what a particular jury is going to award you in the way of damages. But it takes experienced counsel to present that in the most effective manner that ultimately res re redounds to your benefit and maximizes the value of your claim. And if you have such a claim, uh, you want experienced trial lawyers on your behalf, and our firm is one of, if not the most experienced firms with actual trial lawyer experience. I personally have handled many motorcycle claims and been in front of juries um, over 30 plus years. So if you have such a claim, please feel free to call me personally or if um, you, anybody else who's a lawyer at our law firm because we have a lot of legal horsepower here, but we're all pursuing the same type of cases and all pursuing the same type of work. So if you have such a claim, please call us anytime.